Checking in now on the Lori Shaver trial out of Lake County to get you up to speed. The 37 year old was arrested in 2020 on second degree murder charges. She's accused of killing her husband who was last seen alive in 2015 and then burying his body on their Claremont property. The big twist in this case though involves her daughter because investigators say the then seven year old confessed to the killing. She's expected to testify later this week, but first, we heard from Shaver's new husband, Travis Filmer. News 6's Emily McLeod was there when he took the stand. So this person that you were in this committed relationship with that had told you that her husband had just left, just had no contact with the kids, there's a body found in the backyard, and you don't ask her a single question. That's not exactly what happened. And she called me sobbing, crying, and I asked her what was wrong. She proceeded to tell me that detectives had shown up at the house and they were asking about Michael. The state also questioning a comment made by Filmer about Michael Shaver to a mentor from church, Robert Saying Proper. Now. Did Mr. Filmer make a statement uh, that he said represented the front before he Um, yes, yes. What was that? Um, we were discussing Mr. Shaver's disappearance and he made the statement basically that uh, it wasn't a matter of he was missing he was no longer walking the earth. However the defense questioned Proper further about the details surrounding that conversation. Whatever Travis said to you is not documented, correct? Um, just what I'm, no, just my word. Okay, just your word and your word may be different than Mr. Uh, Filmer's, correct? Um, all I'm doing is repeating what he told me. Vanessa Townsend, the woman who received a flower delivery at work with a cryptic poem claiming to be from Michael Shaver, also took the stand. And can you go ahead and read that message to the jury, please? Ms. Townsend, is this a difficult day for you? It is. It says, roses are red, violets are blue, my wife is a your husband is too. Sorry about this. Check your Facebook message. We need to talk, Mike. Detectives believe Lori Shaver was posing as Michael Shaver to notify Townsend of the affair between herself and Townsend's husband. For now, reporting in Tavares, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results News 6. So the best and fastest way to get updates on this case is by downloading our News 6 app. The moment we get information, you'll get an alert right to your phone. The app is free in the App Store. Just search WKMG.